Hey people, uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, download and burn a uh, Dreamcast game. Um, first, you will need to go to this website right here, dcisozone.com, and click on whichever game you want to download. I'm just using this as an example, I really don't want to download this game even though it looks pretty fun uh, <clears throat> and then uh, you know you click right here and it should you know redirect you to a uh, you know another page where you can download uh, let's try it here yep it, if you see this you're good uh, you get on here to free download unless you want to pay for it but uh, you know free download click that it'll take you here type in all that captcha crap and uh, click on download file. Now it says right here, I've got three downloads remaining. My download count resets in one hour. That's because I am a free user. You're only allowed five downloads per day or per like 20 hours or something like that. So I've already downloaded two today. Um, I've got three remaining. All right, so once downloaded, I'm gonna close, uh, close that out and go to where it downloaded. And uh, as you can see, I've got a game called uh, Wild Metal right here um, that uh, I want to I want to burn. Now I'm gonna unzip this using uh, Rinroar, and uh, it should give me a ISO file. Okay. So now after that's done. Um, what you can do is just go ahead and delete the uh, zip file or RAR file, whatever it is, the archive file, compressed archive, and uh, you have now have an ISO file. Okay, it opens up in a program called Disk Juggler. Now this program is free, but uh, it's stuck in evaluation demo mode if you don't have a code, which I didn't have a code. Uh, I tried to find one, but after I found one, you know, to crack it, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't let me um, input the code. Um, see, like right here, you know, register software. It's 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 grayed out, so it won't let me input the code. It did it in the initial installation. It it would let me in the initial installation, but not now for some reason. Anyway. What you do is uh, once uh, once this juggler is open, you go to uh, File and click on New. Make sure uh, you click on Burn Disk Images. Click OK. All right, this should pop up if you're using the latest version of Disk Juggler. Um, now it says right here that this is the free edition. Writes at the lowest speed to one recorder only and limits the maximum dB size to 700 megs. That's okay because Dreamcast games fit on a CDR disc, and you know they're 700 megabytes or under anyway. So you're good right there. Okay, what you're going to want to do is click on Source, find your disc image, open it, go over here to this Advanced tab. Okay, for Mode, you're going to select Mode 2, <coughs> and for uh, talk, you can either select CDDA or you can select CDXA. Okay, if you select CDDA, then you're going to want to leave this checked and then you're going to want to check raw write. You can check overbird disk, um, but that's only really needed if um, the file size is, you know, like uh, 750 to 800 megabytes or over, which some of them are. In that case, you have to use a 99 minute CDI to burn it. Okay, so this this doesn't really matter at this point in time because my uh, my image here is uh, you know the right size, so I don't need to overburn. Okay, now let's go back. If you do the CD CDXA still click the raw right you can still click the overburn but you need to remove this right here um why there's two ways to do it I don't know there just is um make sure you know you're at a maximum of 4x I like to go down to 2x or even 1x put it at 2x I don't even think this matters because I'm in demo mode but um 
anyway, so uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know burn it like this and uh, and see what happens. All right, let me get my uh, CDR blank CDR in the drive here. While that loads, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I'll show you guys the two different ways of burning. Um, you know, this is the CD XA and the CD uh, DA. Um, okay, so uh, we are ready to go. Um, all you gotta do is uh, click start, and it's gonna say it's running in evaluation mode you're only able to record at the lowest speed and up to 700 megabytes only do you want to continue yes I do and it'll burn I'm uh, I'm not gonna s sit here and uh, wait for this to burn I'll uh, I'll come back uh, once it's done Okay, and we are almost done here. It's at 85%. Uh, the read speed is actually 10.1x. Uh, uh, so that's I guess that's the lowest speed that my uh, um, drive would do. And it looks like we are done. Yay! All right. So um, now what you do? is take the disc out and close disc juggler because you don't need it anymore you don't want to save unless you actually really want to um, okay now uh, I'm gonna switch to the camera and uh, show you guys uh, what you need to uh, boot it up See you in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other way. Alright, same uh, thing applies. Unzip to, uh, to get your uh, image file. Um, now sometimes it might come with a bunch of other crap that uh, you don't necessarily want but you can just delete that because all you really need is this uh, image file right here so um, this is the other way using the CDDA uh, burning method just gotta wait for this to, uh, to unzip here shouldn't uh, shouldn't take that long almost done yeah alright and I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, this juggler while that unzips. And every time you load the demo version of this juggler, you'll have to wait that many seconds. So you can click OK. It's just telling you the full version does all this crap, whatever. Okay. Okay, almost done with that. Hmm. This is uh, pretty much the newbie's guide to uh, burning Dreamcast games. Okay, so as you can see, it came with a bunch of crap that I don't necessarily need. Um, all, all I need is this file right here. Put that right there. Close that. Go to this juggler. Same thing I did last time. Alright. Now, open the image file. Okay. Go to the advanced tab, select mode 2 again, talk to CDDA this time, add post gap to third party, and this one's a little bit over 700 megs, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, over burn. Alright, so put the disc in. Wait 
for it to load. Uh, let's put this down to one this time. See if that makes any difference. Oh, uh, well, I'll go to uh, no, back to one. All right. Okay. So everything is uh, is set. Um, for some reason, any DVD is scanning my disc. I don't know why. Um, okay, here we go. Everything is ready. Now uh, it's time to click start. And this always pops up every time because it's the demo mode, like I said. Just click yes. And it'll start burning. And again, I'm not going to have you guys uh, sit here and you know watch the whole burning process so um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut and uh, I'll be back uh, after it's you know fully burned this is a bigger uh, file than the one I did last time this is uh, Sonic Adventures 2 um, which is you know a pretty big file so uh, yeah alright well I'll be back Okay, and I'm back. Everything uh, task is complete. Uh, it took about eight minutes. Everything is go. Um, now I'm going to uh, go over to the uh, camera and I'll show you uh, what what all you need to uh, uh, boot the Dreamcast game. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, uh, we're back. Or I'm back. Um, okay, now for some Dreamcast games, you're going to need this uh, Utopia boot CD. But uh, most of them on that website that I showed you are self-bootable. So all you got to do is put the game in and play it. And uh, here, I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll start with... Um, yeah, I'll start, I'll start with, the, with um, the, the Wild Metal or whatever. Um, as you can see, it's not that big, you know, with the ring right there. So, all you do is put it in your Dreamcast, close the lid, power it on, and wait for it to boot up. And this, this uh, was recorded with the uh, CD-XA method. And uh, there it goes. It has booted. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm gonna uh, turn that off and take it out. And now we're going to try. The other one, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, I believe it was, which um, I haven't labeled them yet, but um, I know which one it is. So these are, this is just showing you that both burning methods will boot the games. Now, your uh, your Dreamcast. In order to play uh, copy games, your Dreamcast has to. Uh, oh well, <laughs> that one uh, that one didn't work that time. Uh, my Dreamcast is a little problematic um, with uh, with backups. Um, I don't know if it's because it's old, but like I said, your Dreamcast has to be uh, manufactured. Um, before 2000, mine I believe is uh, August of 1999 or September of 1999, so it, it boots them no problem. Well, almost no problem. Okay, and like I, like I said, it's, it's problematic with uh, um, backups, so what I'm going to do now is... I am going to uh, use the uh, uh, the Utopia boot disk and see if I can get it to work with the Utopia boot disk. Um, 
hopefully I didn't waste the CDR by burning it the uh, CDDA method instead of the CDXA method. Just put this in here. Close the lid, power it up. And I'll show you guys the uh, Utopia boot disk screen. Um, nothing special. Got a rotating uh, reindeer. It's kind of funny. I couldn't think of anything else. It is a reindeer dog or something. But uh, as you can see, um, Sega Dreamcast um, insert backup. All right. So let's insert the backup. And this may or may not work, but let's find out. Okay, uh, well, it's not working. All right, well, maybe uh, maybe the CDXA uh, method is the uh, way to go, even though I have burned games with the uh, CDDA method, and uh, they they work fine, because um, that's how I originally learned how to burn them. Yeah, I've got Guilty Gear X right here, um, and I burned it that way, and it boots up just fine. Um... So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the problem is here with uh, the Sonic Adventure 2. I'm guessing it's the way that I burned it, and you know that's it. But uh, yeah, that's how you uh, copy and play uh, Dreamcast games. All right. Well, let's see if this boots up here. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right. Well. See you guys later.